Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell XPS M1530 or also known as a Dell PP28L version. And that version you can find it right at the back of the laptop, right on the specification area. Right at the bottom it will tell you model number, it's a PP28L. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to increase your RAM on this laptop because these are really kind of old laptop and they come with a 2 gig RAM sometimes which is one stick of one RAM, is a DDR2 RAMs and uh, you can get a two sticks of the DDR2 so you can have combination of the 4 gig and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to increase the RAM on this one. Alright, first thing first you want to power off the laptop completely and you want to flip it upside down. Then you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I uh, use the iFixit tool set for a screwdriver, and these are one of the best screwdrivers out there, as they have S2 class steel. That means they're really tough and steel, and they won't go bad. And the aluminium handle is beautiful. I'll leave the link in my description if you want to get this one. All right. So what we're gonna do now here? We're gonna remove this L-shaped service cover right over here. The screws won't come out, they have an LC lock on them, so you can only loose them up. But this one, I think has a one screw C lock broken. But pretty much remove the screws. If they don't come in, just loose them up. And once the screws are loosened up, just grab it right from here. They have a little hole to put your finger through and just lift it up and bring the cover and put it to one side. And down here you want to see the RAM dims right over here. You do not need to remove the battery to do this service. It's really not necessary. If you want to just pull this trigger and real hard and slide the battery back. But it's not necessary. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers apart. Just like that. And slide out the uh, RAM just like this. Same thing for here. Just pull these two triggers apart and bring it up in 45 degree angle the same angle that it went in this is a one gig and this is a one gig uh, ram so you can just make sure there's no dust or anything you can clean the contact with a toothbrush with a new old toothbrush that's not gonna do anything just simply gently not with a lot of force just softly you can just clean the pins and nothing's gonna happen and in this one for a client we're gonna add an extra and two gigabyte and DDR2. So and they don't want to go four gig because they don't have the money, I guess. So what are we gonna do? This is a DIM A, DIM B. So we're gonna install on the bottom DIM the one gig that we have. We're gonna slide it in 45 degree angle. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the RAM DIM. So bring it down in 45 degree angle and push it toward the jack in 45 degree angle. Let me see if you guys can see this. So in this angle, so you want to remove it in this angle, place it in the same angle and once it's all the way in and push it towards the motherboard and it should softly, look how soft it's supposed to go in and it does the two clicks. Now grab the new RAM, bring it in 45 degree, push it in and push it towards the motherboard and it just locks in place. And these two triggers, they have to stay straight. Once you got that, and you can lose this, use this one as a keychain. There's a little hole here you can use as a keychain if you want to. And the next step would be to grab the bottom cover. Make sure you put this end down first, all the way here. And then bring it down and push down the corners, push down this side, place it right on top and tighten up the screws. Now, when you power on, it might take to 5 or 10 seconds for the uh, motherboard to do a RAM check. So don't panic. And if it doesn't, for some reason, the lights turn on, but there's no screen, don't panic again. Just turn it off, remove the cover, swipe the places, put the two gig on the bottom and the other one on top, and then try it on. And if that doesn't work, then you can try step number three. Just remove both of the RAM, just put the new RAM on the bottom dim, turn it on, wait five seconds, once you get the logo, then you wanna shut it down, 
and then place the second RAM and then boot it up and wait 5 to 10 seconds and it will work. And I hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys to do your own RAM upgrade for your laptop. If you did, please click that like button. And if you guys want to support the channel, just subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.